The agency that oversees high school sports just unveiled a new proposal to allow student athletes the ability to trade teams with no penalty. Under previous rules, any student switching teams would need to provide a change of address form and would then face a 30-day sit-out period where they couldn't play their sport. The new rules would allow a one-time transfer without proof of a move or a sit-out period. But one basketball team in Camden is coming under fire for bringing some hoop stars into the district from outside towns. And as Ted Goldberg reports, the state's Interscholastic Athletic Association is challenging the star stacking in the appellate court. It would appear this was a rather naked transaction or championship chase. That's Kevin Armstrong's conclusion. After Camden High brought in tons of talent and dominated Group 2 basketball in New Jersey last year. They were beating opposing public schools in New Jersey by 38 points a game. And then, you know, they win the state championship game and they win that by 41 points. Armstrong is a reporter at NJ Advance Media, which investigated Camden's basketball team and found that many of their best players don't actually live in Camden. The investigation accuses Camden of skirting state recruiting rules to attract more high-powered stars around third-generation Camden standout DJ Wagner. What part of the city are you from? And, uh, you know, quickly became, you know, a willing borough. It's like, okay, well, you know, that's, that's not in the city. And, you know, even DJ himself, you know, you would ask uh, either family members or people and they'd be like, oh, DJ, uh, you know, doesn't live in the city. The investigation found that players who lived up to 70 miles away enrolled in one of the magnet schools which share a building with Camden High and thus were eligible to play for the Panthers. The websites for Big Picture Learning Academy and Creative Arts state that students must be Camden residents to apply. But the co-counsel for the Camden School District argues otherwise. The students do not need Camden residency to go to the high school or to the magnet schools. William Tambusi has been brought on because Armstrong's article sparked an investigation from the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association. Two weeks ago, Camden was supposed to have an appearance in front of the controversy committee for the NJSIAA. But that's been suspended by a superior court judge. The NJSIAA has given us its assurances in writing that none of the players on the team now are ineligible. What the NJSIAA is relying upon is hearsay. Tambusi argues that it would violate state and federal law to disclose some of the information requested by the NJSIAA. Armstrong's investigation also alleges that basketball players were charged $1,500 a year to attend Camden's charter schools, which typically cost more than $22,000. Armstrong says the district told him only $500 has been collected between the five students over two years. And in the legal filing, Camden Schools claims the district is not a collection agency. Certainly, a slow pace of collection does not equal a scholarship grant. A cash strap system that has had, you know, uh, teacher layoffs and, you know, uh, needs money in terms of uh, just upgrading its you know, facilities and whatnot. They clearly, you know, created a pathway here that, you know, goes against NJSI AA, you know, regulations in terms of just, uh, you know, you're not supposed to be doing or creating systems, you know, strictly for athletic gain. It's hard to argue that they're not doing that when the five kids, given the private tuition contracts, are all star basketball players. The state investigation could strip Camden of last year's title or make this year's team ineligible. New Jersey is considering tweaking some of its transfer rules, but it's unclear if they would have made a difference with Camden's team. I'm hoping that it, it stabilizes things a little bit. Um, it's going to give some flexibility. Will it result in more transfers? I'm not sure. Paul Papaduk is the chief compliance officer for the NJSIAA. Under current rules, varsity athletes who switch schools have to sit out for 30 days unless it's considered a bona fide move, like if someone moves with their parents. A rule change would give students a one-time penalty-free transfer while additional transfers would bring about the 30-day penalty for athletes at any level. It's difficult for the schools to, to police that. It's even more difficult for us to do that. Um, I think it's you know rather easily manipulated. Um, there are some other issues with the haves and the have-nots when you have multiple homes or can get multiple homes and shift people here and there. 
Um, it's a lot easier for those who cannot. In its legal filings, the NJSIAA argues that to host a state tournament wherein one school exempts itself from fair play regulations and evades the NJSIAA hearing process is contrary to the rules for fair play. It might take a while for the legal process to sort out what's fair or not. While that's happening, Camden High Hoops will keep playing and try to defend their state title. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Ted Goldberg.